Hello people of the internet, my name is Flaming Arrow Gaming, and welcome to my mobile gaming channel. Today, I guess we'll be starting out my channel with Boom Beach. It's going to be the main video on my channel. I'm going to be doing a series called Boom Beach Teach, and loads more with you guys. But I guess to start off, we will be attacking the Operation Core, um, and... Um, in this series of Boom Beach Teach, I want to teach you guys how to use different strategies in Boom Beach and how to use different heroes as well. So, let's get straight into this. So, we're using t uh, Tank Medic, so hopefully you can learn something from this. That Boom Cannon is going to be a problem because we want to get our tanks right up here where I just shot the uh, Critter Cage. Now, that Critter Cage was pretty useless, but I've got GBE to spare. Two bombs to finish that off, one bomb to finish this off, and then deploy my troops. One very important part to using tank medics, keep in mind how much GBE you're using when deploying your tanks. For me it costs 26 gunboat energy, um, for most people it won't take that much, but it will take a lot. Just gonna take out these sniper tires because they will be a problem eventually. And we're gonna have Everspark take over that sniper tower. Hmm. Let's see here. I think we'll be fine. This base is as good as as good as done. So take over that flamethrower. The boom cannons will destroy it, and we're gonna get my tanks over here. And we're just going to take the base. Send off a couple more bombs to finish it off, and we are done. Now, one per one thing I see very often where it needs to be taken advantage, but it's not. See these smoke here, and you see these medics. So many times, people let their medics get taken out by rocket launchers. By using a smoke, you can smoke your medics so that they don't get hit, but yet they can still heal your tanks. So that's one thing that you've got to take advantage of when you're attacking with tank medics. So that was Tension Down. A rather easy uh, base if you ask me. And that's the operation complete. Um, let's see what the trader has to offer this week. Alright, so she's got a free one. Today I want to try and upgrade my radar, it's going to take that much more. Alright, so let's see here. We'll always take the free one. Yeah, it's, it's a stinky one today. Ooh, that's terrible. Um, 1,000, or 1 million, okay. Well, obviously it's Hammerman today, so we're going to boost up our resource reward. And we're going to attack Hammerman. Let's see, where is he? Where's Hammerman? There he is. So, these first couple stages, I can really explain um, team meds a bit more because all I have to do is this and the base is gone. So, with tank medics, you want your tanks to be able to do all the damage for you. You don't want to have to rely on gunboat abilities or other troops because you won't be using any. Um, but... I'm also going to explain what heroes to use with tank medics. The best hero, in my opinion, is Everspark. And the best ability would be her critter cages. That's why I have them maxed out. It's pretty inexpensive, and upon attacking, they are a really, really, really good distraction for all of the defenses. Um... Just having Everspark to deploy critters every five seconds is a really good ability to distract all of the buildings and it just takes so much damage off of your tanks and they don't have to worry about. Now I'm going to use another one here, uh, another good hero to use. With tanks, another good hero to use is Bullet. However, you ha do have to be wary if you're using medics because Private Bullet will be healed by those medics, so we're not going to use him. Um, I'm going to attack here. This strategy that I'm about to do is for you lower level players who don't have medics yet. 
So if you can, with low levels, try to take out the boom cannons. They're going to be your top priority. Now obviously you won't have critter cages, but you're going to have bombs, so you just double bomb the cannons or barrage bomb. Those are also good. So we will put out the tanks. Lower levels won't have tanks. Use cabin as a substitute for Everspark, okay guys? So I won't deploy a hero either. Um, so what you want to do is you want to let your tanks just do all the work. That's all you can do. Um, try not to use critter cages here. So it's going to be a problem. You have to worry about the health of your tanks now. And you've got to worry about cannons. So shock the cannons. Keep them shocked. Let your tanks do the damage. Um, try to take out boom mines before your tanks hit them. Oh, I failed. All right, we're gonna bring the tanks over here. Uh, we're gonna heal them. Ooh, be very careful of boom mines, guys. They are going to be extremely deadly to your tanks. I cannot stress that enough. And we're just gonna finish up the base. So that was a bit of strategy for you lower level players. Um, upgrade your med kits when you're lower level, that way you can depend on a healing source other than medics. But later on, use medics all the time when you're using tanks. Alright, let's get into stage 4. Back to higher level playing. Oh, we have a shock launcher on this base. Now, it is going to slow our tanks down a little bit, but since I have extra GBE, I'm going to take it out. We will take out these higher level boom cannons. And we're going to throw one bomb there. And critter cave. There we go. And now the base is pretty much ours. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, while our tanks are pretty slow, I guess we could help them out a bit. Destroy a cannon. Destroy another cannon. Destroy another cannon. Oh, and another thing. See how I got two things there in one shot? Double hits are very important. And you guys need to learn double hitting. It will be extremely crucial later on in the game. Double hitting just is very effective, per se. Um, let's pause the critters just as a distraction. See how much of a distraction they are? They distract every defense. They are so good. And they destroy mines. Um... A little bit more on the gaming part of my channel. Uh, how do I want to put this? It's not just going to be Boom Beach. You don't have to worry about that. We're going to do Clash Royale, stuff like that. I promise it will not be just Boom Beach, but my main part will be Boom Beach Teach. I'll teach you guys strategies and whatnot. Um, your best strategy for your HQ level, what to upgrade, stuff like that. It'll be Boom Beach Teach, teaching you how to play Boom Beach. Boy, I'm a really good rhymer today. We are eight minutes in. That is pretty good. You've taken down a few. This is far from over. You'll be defeated soon enough. No, I will not. So now that I get to stage five, I like to scout just to see what we've got here. So we've got shock launcher, uh, shock blaster, and boom cannons. Notice how this boom cannon's over here. We're gonna send our troops on this side Totally avoiding this boom cannon and this shock launcher. We'll destroy this, destroy that, and destroy that. And I'm going to show you the effectiveness of smoking your troops on the landing. Two barrages should do a sufficient amount of damage to that. One bomb? Two bombs, okay. Um, this guy's got to go. Double bomb. bomb there. Alright, so I have just enough GBE to deploy my troops and smoke them on the land. That boom cannon would be shooting my troops right now if I hadn't smoked them. Now, this cannon is going to be a small, slight problem. Uh, we're going to distract this cannon. Oof. Alright, get over here. No, don't shoot my tanks. Don't you dare shoot my tanks. 
Um, see, this is where smokes come in handy. Smoke those medics so that they don't get shot. Distraction for your tanks. And this base is as good as dead. Um, see this sniper tower here? We do have to watch that it doesn't take out our medics. <clears throat> be very careful when you're using tank medics that you don't let your medics be behind your tanks for too long or they will die. And this base is as good as dead. Another easy win, another useless hammerman base. I, wouldn't, I can't say useless, it did give us a small challenge. And as you know, we like challenges on this uh, gaming channel. <laughs> if you haven't already, go check out the Spicy Doritos challenge. That was back when I was TV in our flame. Oh, but it's, it's still so funny that I just couldn't, I could not delete it. It, it had to stay. It will forever be known as the first uh, video on this channel. All right, only two more bases left to go. Oh my goodness. Um, what levels are these things? 16, 16, 16, 16. Oh boy, guys. This may take all of our attacks to finish this base. That boom cannon has to go. Oh. You know, we gotta go front attack on this base, guys. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. I think we're gonna do a GBE run, and then we'll attack afterwards. So, I think I might be able to get away with that front boom cannon being there. We'll try to let that go for now. Another hit? Oh, this is bad. Take out the boom cannon? No. Critters. Hopefully the critters can do it. Oh, that was probably a terrible idea. Come on, critters. Okay, they got it. Um, shock launcher. And that's going to be all the damage we can do. Um, let's see what Everspark can do on her own. This is another good tactic. You could just let Everspark go in and see what kind of damage she can get done. If any. Nope. Oh, wait, we might get some mines cleared. Yeah, see, that was very efficient. We got some mines cleared for our tanks. Um, let's see here. We have two attacks. We'll beat this stage, but I doubt we'll beat the next one. Sorry, guys. All right, well, this has got to go. Okay, well, it's gone now. We're gonna go to the left of this base, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll just deploy our tanks now. Shock him. Nicely done. Easy does it. Alrighty. Let's see what else we got here. So this hot pot's gonna be a problem. We'll just let my tanks go there for a bit. Gotta get my tanks out of there. Um. Uh oh. We lost a tank. Uh oh. Uh oh. I totally forgot about boom mines and boom cannons. Sorry about dead time too, guys. Uh, trying to focus a little bit here. Oh, I hope we can get this hot pot down in time. Come on, one more bomb. Come 
Come on. Okay, they got that. Don't shoot my tank! Oh, guys, we are doing terrible. We're gonna retreat. Oh, guys, that was a bad attack. We lost so many tanks. How am I supposed to be running a Boom Beach Teach channel if I can't teach Boom Beach? Ugh, and I gotta stop writing these poems. Five tanks. Uh, that's alright, guys. We've got this base. It's as good as dead now. Alrighty. Let's finish her off. And then I'm gonna end the video here after we destroy this base for good. Now that we have our GBE refreshed, we're going to destroy both of these boom cannons and we'll go left and it'll be an easy d attack. Hopefully. Do not mark my words on that. Okay, take out that boom cannon, please. Thank you. Oh, why did I do that? I accidentally double tapped. Oopsies, that's alright. We've got the base. The space is as good as dead. And that'll be it for the video, guys. <clears throat> as we're letting my tanks finish off the video, I just want to say um, thank you to a good friend of mine, formerly known as Phobia Gamers or... Um, Phobia Mar, I believe it was. He's been a great help to my channel, as well as Fro Goggles. Go check him out uh, on his channel. And you guys have just been a blessing on this channel. All the subscriptions and all the support, guys. Thank you. And I promise that you will have lots more fun videos out and everything. I don't know how many more I'll get out this week, but I do want to get a Boom Beach Teach video out this week. Um, such as teaching skanks, I think I'll do. Should we start out with skanks, or should we start out with hookahs? I don't know, you guys let me down, uh, no, know down in the comments below what kind of uh, troop combo you guys want me to teach you. Whether it be uh, scorchers, skanks, tank meds, whatever. Even if it's grenadier medics, just let me know and I'll teach it. You guys just have to let me know in the comments below. And the tanks are going to take out this base in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's game over, Hamlin. Almost. Almost got to stage 7. It was a bit of a hard one this week, actually. So much loot, though, from Hammerman. Guys, take advantage of Hammerman. He gives so much loot. Especially if you have a resource reward statue like I have. Boost it and take advantage. Let's see how much more we need anyways. Oh, not much more guys. I'm sure in the next video I'll have a max level uh, radar. But anyways guys, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.